I'm interested in why males and females are, respond differently to a heart attack and the mechanisms or the reasons why they would uh, respond differently. Typically when women experience a heart attack, they first of all experience different symptoms and so they, they're, not, they're less likely to recognise that they're having a heart attack and in so doing, they're more likely to take longer to reach hospital. So that, that time there is crucial uh, for uh, responding to the heart attack. Uh, secondly, once they reach hospital, the research shows that they uh, have worse outcomes than males. And this is uh, potentially down to uh, worse treatments or uh, less optimal treatments for females compared to males. My research has been uh, focused on the role that the brain has in uh, driving these outcomes after a heart attack. So the brain sends signals to the heart and to the, the cardiovascular system. And in so doing, it responds to the heart attack, sometimes appropriately, but sometimes not. And uh, treatments such as beta blockers uh, target this, uh, this activity from the brain. Um, and it's been optimized in males, but we're not sure how effective it is in females. My hope would be that uh, in the future that females um, well, well, greater awareness around the differences between uh, males and females uh, following a heart attack uh, so that there's more uh, recognition uh, that females do suffer as much as uh, males do. And then secondly, that treatments, once again, are, are optimised further so that outcomes following a heart attack are improved both in males and in females.